Do you want to know a secret? User interfaces are dead. And I know that sounds dramatic, but this tool I've got to show you today is the proof. Okay, quick confession time. I absolutely love using new tools. I've tried all the note-taking apps, the task apps, the second brain. So it does take quite a lot for something to really grab me and want to shout about it. Well, recently fellow YouTuber Enrico Tartarotti mentioned something that really stuck with me. He said that user interfaces are dead. The real interface now is just your intent. In other words, you type what you want to achieve and the forward thinking tools out there will just do it for you. And yeah, I think he's right. Most of us don't want any more buttons. We just want to say what we want and then have our tools organize themselves around our intentions. And that is where you mind comes in. So in this video, I'm going to do a little deep dive into the tool, like a medium dive. I'm going to leave timestamps if you want to skip around, but try to stick around to the end because I will show you a full live example of how I've been using this tool. First of all, what is you mind? Well, it calls itself an AI learning and creation studio. And in normal human language, it is a workspace where you can tell it what you're trying to do, let it go and do some research for you, and then turn that research into finished materials like guides, emails, blogs, and podcasts. So instead of having separate tools for research, notes, and final outputs, UMind gives you three basic building blocks. There are boards, which are like project areas, materials, which are the raw ingredients that it uses to think about what it's creating for you, things like web articles, YouTube videos, and PDFs, and crafts, which are the end products that it will make for you. Now, as a consultant and a content creator, that structure makes perfect sense to me. It mirrors how I actually work. So I usually start with a question or a project. I then gather far too much information, and then I try and turn it into something that people can understand, or in my case, that I can use to learn from as part of my work. Now, most tools only help with the middle or the end of this process, but you mind is cool as it pulls the whole thing into one place and then lets your intent drive what happens next. Let me show you exactly what that looks like. So I'm using you mind in my browser here using Chrome, but you can use dedicated apps on Mac, iPad, and iPhone as well. On the home screen here, you can see all my boards. And for this example, I'm gonna create a new board called Unconference Design. So when I'm not making YouTube videos, I work as a management consultant, and I often find myself running this kind of event. And at the top here, it asks, what are you curious about? Which is a really nice way of saying, what job do you want me to do for you? So let's tell it, I'm running a one day unconference for about 40 people. Help me understand how unconferences work, what makes them successful, common pitfalls to avoid, and how to structure the day. Then help me create materials to brief my participants before the event so they know what to expect. If I hit enter, now you mind goes to work. On the left here, you can see the conversation so it shows you all it's working out. And on the right hand side, it starts pulling in materials, which are all the sources it's reading from the web. Unlike ChatGBT, it doesn't just spit out one big answer and then call it a day. It's gonna build you a research plan, select all the best quality sources, show you what it's using, and then assemble some initial outputs for you. So a minute or two later, you've got a structured overview inside this board. Now already, this is very close to what I would normally do completely manually as a prep for a client project. But the difference here is that I've not opened 30 browser tabs and then tried to remember where I saw that one really good paragraph that I wanted to include in my work. So now that we've got a base, we can layer all our own research on top if we like. For example, there is a web clipper extension here. You install it once and then pin it next to your address bar. And let's say I find a blog post that I love about unconferences. I can just click the UMind button and it'll give me a summary, key sections, and I can ask quick questions like, does this cover how to handle dominant voices in your sessions? Or is there a section on setting expectations for people who are more introverted? And then if it's useful, I can just hit save to and then drop it into my unconference board. Same thing with a YouTube video. Maybe there's a talk from someone who's run hundreds of unconferences that I can use. I just select the clipper, you mine then breaks down the video and then I can again save it onto the same board. Now if I'm in full research mode, there's actually a batch reading feature that lets me grab several videos or pages at once rather than clipping them individually. So as you can see very quickly, this one board has become my single hub for everything related to that topic or project. So that is the traditional planning and overwhelm part all handled. Now, let's see what UMind does when you want to actually make something with it. 
inside my on conference board, there's a section called crafts. And instead of saying, here you go, here's your research, good luck. It just asks what kind of output you want. So we're gonna start with a participant guide because that is something I would genuinely send before an event like this. I select the main on conference report that you mine created plus one or two of the blog posts that I've clipped. Then I pick a craft that is close to what I want, in this case, a guide or an article and hit generate. And now you mind build a guide that comes back with sections like this. This kind of works like a mini website so I can share it as it is, or I can click into any paragraph and rewrite it in my own voice or move sections around or even remove bits that might feel a bit too generic. I reckon for a lot of people who make this kind of content, this is a really great way of getting you from the terror of a blank page to a very polished bit of content in a really short space of time. And now, because the research is already there, we can just flip it into lots of different formats. This is one of my favorite features. So back in crafts, I choose an audio pod option. Then I'm gonna prompt it with create a three minute audio script that explains unconferences to first time participants, reassures them, gives them clear instructions and focusing on on why their contribution matters. You mind then turns that into a short podcast style audio file, which you can share as a link with your participants and then continue to add more episodes to as you like. We can keep going with this flipping of content. So from the same board, I can create a blog post about what an on-conference is and why it works. I could draft an email sequence from a save the date to a final reminder can script a short YouTube explainer video, or maybe build a checklist for my internal team who are gonna be hosting the day, or then build a guide for the facilitator to help everything run smoothly. You get the idea. Now there is one more quick feature that is worth a mention if you consume a lot of video as part of your learning or research. Now when you save YouTube videos into a board, you might can create these pics that highlight the key moments from the video together with timestamps. Now you can jump straight to those moments or add your own pics as you're watching. Then you can bundle those pics into a note along with your reflections. So instead of remembering there was a really good point about user experience somewhere around the 15 minute mark, you can have it captured and then linked inside the space where you actually need it. So where does this leave us? Well, Enrico tells us user interfaces are dead. And looking at a tool like Umind, you can kind of see what he means. You don't really spend your time learning how to use the app. You spend your time telling it what you're trying to do. I'm planning an event, I'm designing a course, I'm writing a new website. And then your questions, your intents become the interface. Everything else just melts away. I think if you're the sort of person who's constantly juggling research, planning and content, I'm thinking about teachers, content creators, writers, new mind might save you a lot of time and maybe a few less gray hairs on the way and yeah. I should know. I've left the link in the description or you can scan this code over here if you want to try it out for yourself. There is a free trial to let you get a feel for it and then there are two pricing tiers to choose from to really make the most of the product. You can use my code for a 20% discount on any of those options and yeah, thank me later. But seriously, if you do give it a go, let me know in the comments what you used it for. I always love to hear your stories of how you get on with these kind of tools. Meanwhile, if you found this helpful, hit a like. And if you're feeling that way inclined, maybe also give me a bit of hype so more people can find this one. And if you want more honest takes on tools that actually help you work rather than create more work, subscribe and stick around and I'll see you in the next one.